Today's Google Doodle celebrates Mexican-American journalist Jovita Aydar. How journalist Jovita Aydar fought to document Mexican-American history. We're a TV 2.0. In 2020, when battle of present-day structural xenophobia and racism is at the forefront of everyone's minds, it can be easy to forget that Suraitis figures throughout history have been at the front lines of this struggle for hundreds of years. At the turn of the 20th century, journalist Javita Aydar, the subject of today's Google Doodle, was fighting passionately on behalf of Mexican-American civil rights through her reportage as well as in her role as president of the League of Mexican Union as a passionate speaker and advocator for a group that is still marginalized and misrepresented to this day, Aida used her considerable talents to advocate for her comrades, and there were sometimes their consequences. In 1914, while writing and reporting for El Progreso newspaper, Aida wrote an editorial in which she vehemently expressed her condemnation of the United States military's interference in the Mexican Revolution. In retaliatory response, the headquarters of the newspaper were visited by a fleet of Texas Rangers, who intended to shut the publication down. What Aida did next sounds like something out of a classic cinematic western, and it's the very scene depicted in today's Google Google, she stood outside El Progreso's offices and blocked the path of the rangers, thereby forcing them to abandon their mission and turn back. Aydar's school passions for journalistic freedom of speech were just as fiery as her belief in equal rights for Mexican-American women, and she channeled her passions through direct action and tireless work, even though El Progreso's offices and printing presses were ultimately ransacked by the Rangers, Aydar didn't let that silence her work, she continued to publish stories in La Cronica, a newspaper owned by her father, and eventually took over the helm of the publication with her brothers, for the rest of her life up until her death in 1946, she used the free press to channel her desire for civil rights and equality, and did not let governmental suppression flatten her desire to see a better future for all. Disclaimer, some images and video clips that I used this blog are not mine, for educational purposes only. Thank you.